probably the ticket lane for him. And this is kind of, uh, I guess my question to you is that uh, jungle has been such a hot topic all season long just because of how powerful a lot of these carry style junglers are. Use your own skin in game. That was going to help out uh, KD in here with the blue buff. Okay, taking a lot of early damage there from the makeup for Rain of Biofrost, but supports creating aggressively. We've seen a lot of this. This man can help clear the way, but Arcadian wants first blood. Froggen, he's going to go in for it. There's the exhaust down. Arcadian, oh, again! Yeah. He got it again! First blood! As Arcadian's still here. taking damage, but he's been exhausted. Biofrost going to shoot him down as Bjergsen gets the trade. Oh, Biofrost, he's already roaming. He's already there, so helps pick up that kill there and trade it back. But Arcadian and nothing like that might happen, but he's doing it to find where the enemy jungle is. Popped his ultimate. He's got Ghost as well. Should be okay here. Now going to pop the Ghost and try and survive it. He's been locked up. Too much damage, I think. Looper does go down to Haunter. Yep, and Arcadian and I think he's trying to get that red buff or possibly just wait for a game there. So Svenskeren hiding in the bush is actually what made that play possible. Uh -oh. Here's a play. Totally going to get down. sniped. Two bullets all it needs. Maybe Biofrost going to go down as well. Dodges the last bullet. Silence there from Gate. Oops. Snare's going to get dodged. Biofrost with some very fast Not level six yet, but still roaming. Looking for Svenskeren. Get some damage down. Back He's actually going to get himself out of the way. Quick draws away by Froggen over there. That's going to be a kill. Gate gets that one, but Biofrost turn it, turn it around. Six. Gate hits six. So Snare's up there from the Jin and a double kill for the Malzaha. Now they just have to worry about the poke. Amelia just trading wave pushes right now. Yeah, TP from behind. This can't be answered by a TP from Haunter because it's down. Jin ulti started. There's Gate as well. Total taking damage. Last bullet. Not going to be there. As the heals use him and now Looper going to come down. Flips him in. That's going to be a kill. Looper actually gets it. Another diving. Arcadian. He wants Biofrost. He will get it. Ali, you. Throws him back for Acadian to dunk it, and this might be first. Straight goes yeah, over, gonna get it. SM are going to collect the bonus gold. Fox will still trade objectives, but Duel is out on a bit of that extra money. I think you just get that bottom turret faster, then he can just uh -oh. run around by time. Hold on, open up. Fire for a snare, ulti up from Jin. Needs to block it, no, Sven Skarin doesn't stand there. Hornton are caught out of position, going to go down as well. Acadian gets himself another kill. Sven Skarin could be targeted, ultis himself out to safety, and Echo Fox just keep racking up kills. Oh, Bjergsen okay. ulti's gate back in, he's under the turret. It's a good play, Looper's but Bjergsen actually caught there as well. Looper just going to dive in, Blink Sven Skarin, Froggen takes down Bjergsen. There's another kill for Froggen as he takes down Wild Turtle, and a third one is Looper. It's an ace! That's a 14 minute ace for Echo Fox. They are destroying TSM. Gonna take this mid out. Okay, well oil machine once again. Oh, Froggen Gates in the wings though. Froggen gonna have to get out, but Gates here for support. Froggen still taking damage. Haunter able to get the kill. Exhaust is not enough to save him. And now Gate actually could take damage here. Looper is Acadian. gonna come in. But Akadian gonna try and turn around. Biofrost here as well. But that's not enough as Keith gets the kill. Keith though, locked up, taking damage from the MF Ulti. Huge damage as Biofrost will go down to Looper. Keith barely gets out of the way as Haunter has to flash out Open for up. the snare. But here comes the Jin ulti. Finds Haunter for one. Bjergsen for two. From behind the less vision, but here, Fox are trying oh, flanks. Turtle does not out of the way, but the rest of the team is there. Akadian sleeps over. The exhaust is in. And Looper's gonna keep running forward. Spence Garen firing shots along the Biofrost. This Froggen goes in there again. Spence flip back in. is gonna be a kill as Akadian gets low. Bjergsen takes out Gate on the other side, but TSM can't overextend. Looper is caught out of position here as Turtle's low on health. Can't re-enter the fight. Snare onto Bjergsen. Ulti there. They need to kill Looper, but he's very tanky. Not enough as there's the snipe from Turtle. And TSM start turning it around right there. Echo Fox like Drake. I for spotted. Gate's gonna maybe cut him off here. Ulti out from Jin's gonna open up. Looper Drake is back. low. Looper actually with a good little flank. Just gonna run them down. Bjergsen flip back in. in the team. Ulti by Gate, and that's gonna be a kill. Biofrost lets loose with the ulti, but Looper still alive as Sven falls as well. Arcadian now hunting. Finds Biofrost. Reset. Reset. A double kill. There's gonna be the triple kill. Arcadian just going off. Haunter now trapped in. The Drake goes over. So I'm not sure who just yet. Looks like Jin got it. So Echo Fox get it and Haunter and yet another ace. A quadra kill for the rookie. Acadian's ridiculous. Looking good. Double marksman and an assassin. Gate like, the bait. Whoa. Gate's gonna take damage here. That's gonna be a kill. Whoop. Looked a little too juicy. Echo Fox already. Max Ben might get blown up. He ulti's out. Acadian. No, he doesn't die. That goes godlike. Is Jin gonna let loose again? Bjergsen flip back in. Forced to flash instantly, but Looper takes it down with a poison after the crit from the Jin bullet. Oh, without he's a good, good Ooh. stat. <laughs> It definitely is right now, Pastry, and they're gonna go top lane. They're gonna start hitting this turret. Lethality also works on turrets. Shout out to Keith, man. 3 0 and 8. We've had a lot of criticism leveled at him. As Looper just diving in again. He really doesn't care. Gonna proxy fire. I'm gonna proxy turrets. And maybe should have been a little proxy more feed. careful there. Yeah, look. <laughs> can't win them all. Katie, though, is gonna play clean up. There's one. Hansen gonna get locked down as well. Jin, there's the oh, he's snare. Gonna, he's gonna leap again. Frogan looking there he goes. Yep, he leaps in. Legendary. There's another kill. Nine kills now. Actually, Keith got the last one on Tamalka. Okay. He's going to share the life here for Echo Fox, but...
Really blind and Haunts is gonna get Blanket. caught. He's not that tanky, I don't think. He's gonna get locked up by Gates. Ulti snaring from Jin. Firefrots le lets loose his twisted about oh. to keep him alive. Froggen actually goes down to the MF ulti redemption, not in time. Keep trying to snipe, but it's blocked by the rest of TSM. Now Looper taking damage, the rest of TSM gonna try and take him down. Good old from Bjergsen gets him back in, but he's pretty tanky. Don't go down to Wild Turtle. TSM collect two kills. And that was Echo and gets Keith low, but damage is just massive. Legendary now for Arcadia as he slays Fence. Garen Keith will get shut down by Haunter, but Bjergsen's already dead. Turtle gone down as well. Froggen gets another shut down, and Echo Fox and he's gonna keep walking forward. Yeah, and they're gonna have minions actually pushing down in two waves. They're at least gonna get another inhibitor. They'll possibly get some of these turrets on top of it. Cause they have a wave, and they have the damage. I right, just try and end the game here as well. They're at least gonna do significant damage. They're gonna look for one Nexus tower. Biofrost getting chunked. Froggen. He's just unleashing with the damage. And Echo Fox, depending on the defense. Canadian! He's in our bag. Absolutely crazy. He just goes straight in for it. Looks to reset it up, and this could be it. Echo Fox is going to tear the Nexus turret down. Haunter is just not much interference right Five now. Five on Bjergsen. The death time is a low. Are they low enough? Gate goes down. Fence scaring in time to maybe save the day. Nexus turret's down, but the Nexus stays alive. And Echo Skirmishing. It's been those early plays that they started to snowball off. Snowball off. And Bjergsen Bjergsen. dead. Keith gonna get him actually with death by a type. I think Firefrost gonna go down as well. Last ball's not gonna matter as Froggen is now on a killing spree. And TSM gonna get caught out again in their own jungle gate. Brody with an ulti. Get a flash for it. Sven Skaren. Snared up again by the Jin Arcadian. Wants a few more kills. Gets another turtle. Gonna be another as well. There's a double for the Kha'Zix with 13 kills. Oh, he's trying to snap him. He's just waiting for Hansa. Looper's gonna come in. Flip him over. And Hauntar, I don't think he can defend the wide open neck. And Echo Fox will get their third ace of the game and claim game number one versus TSM. Absolutely insane finish. 32 kills from Echo Fox, and in just over 30 minutes, they'll clean up TSM in the first game. Echo Fox, don't miss a beat once they start getting those kills. What are they doing? <laughs> Diving in the fountain for one last kill. Trying to pat Arcadia's fantasy points, I think. 13, 1, and 8 for Arcadia.